Hello guys, I'm Cal. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the uh, program download to updating the inverter manually. Because in some areas the uh, internet is not good, so in that situation you need to use uh, this uh, program download to update uh, your inverter. Okay, let's do it. Now I already have a Doe 5 kW hybrid inverter. Okay, let's power it on here. And I already connected a battery. Okay, now the LCD is on. Now we can connect to the... Here, uh, this device is the program download. It used the ISQ3 port. And here is a SD card. And first step, you need to copy the software uh, into the SD card and insert it. Insert here. Also, you need to be uh, you need to know the rules, the, the fair name of the software. Okay, let's connect it to the inverter. You need to plug this cable to the inverter IS232 port. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's fix it. Okay, as we can see, the LCD all, uh, already is on. So, in this situation, it means that the, okay, you need to uh, non press this button. Non press. Just the ESC button up, up, down, enter. Okay, let's press this one. Okay, now it, it gives the. Uh, so the full, uh, so the full uh, firmware version on the LCD. As we can see now, I'm, uh, now we are going to use this one three one six one. Okay, let's uh, press this button to choose the file we need. We need it. Okay, and then we click here. Okay. Oh, it shows the loading the SD card file. Let's wait. Okay, so it means uh, uh, this uh, uh, firmware is ready. Now we need to start. We need to uh, uh, press the button, the, en the enter button to start the firmware updating. Okay, let's do it. It tells updating. And also, you can check the inverter LCD. Here, you can see it tells the eight zero zero nine. It means the uh, the inverter already uh, is saving the uh, the firmware from the LCD from the program download. Uh, this process uh, it will take. Uh, about one minute, one or two minutes. That's week. Uh, when you updating, uh, just time. Uh, uh, this uh, software uh, MCU three one six one is uh, for the uh, control board software. Okay, let's see uh, the inverter current uh, firmware version. Let's click it here and the device information. And here you will see the inverter ID serial number, and also you can see the LCD LCD uh, board version uh, HMI C three four six six. And the uh, control board version is the main one, uh, uh, 31060. Okay, let's go to go back to the home page.
Oh, it already go back to this page. Okay, it means the uh, updating is finished, it's completed. You don't need to update it anymore. If you press this button again, it will update the firmware uh, again. Okay, let's see. Let's see the LCD. It goes to another process, you see. Let's start with uh, B009. Okay, let's wait. When this process is completed, the uh, firmware updating will be completed. Let's see here, it's still the same. 2160. Now it's a B143. Okay, the inverter will. Uh, as you can see, the, the inverter will restart. Even the LCD is still on, but the inverter didn't give an output. Because the normal indicator is off. We also can use a, a multiple meter to test the output voltage. That's good. Now, as you can see, the firmware uh, is already become 3161. This is uh, the firmware we need uh, uh, we use for the updating. Okay, here is the video. Thank you.